All right, we're working on the 1970 Buick Wildcat, and I got the new starter in the place. But while put, hooking up the wiring, okay. now you can't see it there. It's, that small terminal is the S terminal. The battery's hooked up, battery ca cable anyway. I don't have the battery hooked up right now, hot. But the wire that goes to that terminal, when you touch the key, it turns the starter over or <sighs> pulls the armature into place. Well, after it's the motor spinning, it in any way it engages it on your uh, flywheel there. But the big thing I wanted to share with you is. Oh, as it turns out, what I found is the wire, which is here, that goes to that terminal right there, had a big bare spot in it, right about right there. So I weave the copper back together with my heat shrink out of the way. Then I put my heat shrink into place and heated it up with that. My heat shrink gun or heat gun, I guess you could call it, just a heat gun. And Pretty sure the battery needed to be replaced because the old one was dated 2005. And I'm happy about the new starter. You know, that's good. But it looks like that's the culprit. Or it certainly had a big part of what the problem was. Was the fact that this was going directly to ground. It was rubbing right there, actually, right about right there where that light is. In fact, that's probably where it was rubbing. That's where I found it. That big thick one is battery positive going to the starter. Now, That doesn't really change our rule that oh if you got 12 volts going to your starter and it doesn't work it's got to come out because obviously in that process I did find the problem and that's pretty much always going to happen when you follow your basic rule now it would have been nice if I found that before I bought the starter but it's okay, because now I got a new starter with a warranty. And I know where to look for the problem. In fact, before that, when I first put the engine together, I had a similar problem with that connector right there. Because that's out of a 79 Oldsmobile, that connector is. It came with the wiring harness that came with the engine which I bought from the wrecking yard the original but it was very 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 corroded and I could take it apart and clean it and put it back together and then it would start in fact I went through that multiple times before I finally got it clean enough that it worked so I'm pretty sure that when we get that all hooked up again, it's going to work. And then once I test it and that works, then we'll go ahead and put the heat shield back into place. So, not going real quick, but when it's done, we'll have something that'll be fun to cruise around in for another year. Anyway, thank you very much and have a nice day from Rudy Racing.